I say this all the time, these are great days for us uh, to come out and do this. Um, and it's really a testament to St. Louis Children's that we've been here multiple times and that you want a grant of this magnitude. So we wake up every day and we worry about, hey, how many cars are we gonna sell today? And are we getting to our month end numbers? And none of that seems too important on a day like today. It's only through the efforts of everybody involved that we can get to this point. And uh, I would like to now invite up Dr. Todd Drewley, winner of this year's $1 million Quantum Grant Award. I'd like to invite up all the Hyundai dealers. We rely on companies like Hyundai to um, make our dreams a reality. I had an idea, it was very small in 2012, and it grew in 2015, and now we're gonna do the largest sequencing study with technology that we developed from the prior uh, awards that Hyundai provided to us. The current technology to look for residual leukemia after a child's been treated for AML is good, but it gives us a yes or no answer. There's residual disease or there's not residual disease. And we've developed a technology that improves DNA sequencing by 100 fold. So now we can tell you the gene, the mutation at very, very precise numbers so that hopefully physicians can say, we're not gonna give the child bigger dose of nonspecific, highly toxic, damaging chemotherapy. We have exactly the right drug for that mutation and that residual disease. That's our goal, and that's what this generous support is going to uh, help us achieve. My name is Malcolm Berry, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Chief Development Officer of St. Louis Children's Hospital. We have so much to thank Hyundai for, not least of which is the nearly $3 million in transformational philanthropic support they've provided our outstanding pediatric cancer researchers. I was diagnosed with stage 4 non-Hodgkin lymphoblastic lymphoma. Today I stand here five years in remission and pediatric cancer free.